Today, I'm going to demonstrate three different types of bangs. The first bang is going to be a French bang, which sweeps to the right and sweeps to the left, the parts down the center. Then I'm going to do a side bang, where it sweeps off to the side. And then I'm going to do a block bang. So three easy ways to cut a bang. The French bang is first. I'm sectioning down the center. I'm doing a pie shape parting. And I determine the length by the bridge of her nose, the bridge of her brows. But what's important to remember is a center part from the center over to the center of her eyes is my first section. And I'm gonna determine her length. So today we'll just go by um, her nose. And my finger angle is going to be a 45. I'm directing the hair straight out at a 90. And I'll maintain that, le that length I'll go from shorter to longer, and I'll maintain that elevation. So there's my first cut. That's at a 45. My next parting is from the bevel to the corner of her eye, just to give you a guessment on where I'm sectioning from what point to what point. You can see your previous cut right beneath there. Finger angle, I'm still maintaining a 45. My elevation's still straight out. Same thing, I'm not over directing. Now we're sectioning from the bevel to the temple. I'm directing it straight out and you will see your paintbrush and you cut it right to, not below it and not into it. It's straight out. I'm not directing it to the left and I'm not directing it to the right. Last section, in the fringe area, I usually stop at the corner of the, the far corner of the eye, more temple to sideburn area. Sideburn would be down here, so we're gonna just pretend that's her temple. So I wanna, I wanna cover the sections again. We went from the bevel to the center of her eye, bevel to the corner of the, her eye, bevel to the, the temple, and then bevel to sideburn area. Those are your three sectionings we just created on one side, French bang. Now we're gonna mirror, do an, a mirror, an exact mirror copy on the my left side, your right. So I'm going from the bevel again, which is the highest point of the head. My over direction straight out at a 90. Finger angle 45. The, the real hot tip on this is don't cut into it and don't cut below it. It's important that you use your cutting blade and you're moving that blade. The lower blade stays stationary and the top blade does the work. From the bevel again to the corner of the eye. And it's from the highest point of the head down to the corner of the eye is generally where I stop with the fringe area. Is there many different ways to do it? Absolutely. Could you go further back on the head? For sure. Now Ginger's digging on her little French bang. So you can see it just like sweeps off her face. It's like a Goldie Hawn look where they, the eyes, the hair is still a little bit in the eyes. You can sweep it off to the left and to the right. And then that, there you have it is your French bang. And then we're gonna go into, and you gotta keep in mind, this is a doll head. So you wanna always make allowances for your client's hair. Everybody has a calic. For the most part, one side or the other, we're not exactly all 100% symmetrical and even. So you want to assess the hair before you get started on what is the heavier side. And sometimes that determines what type of bang I will put on someone. Because if they have a heavier, really strong calic, I'm going to place the weight more over that calic and kind of force it to stay down. If you open that side up of the calic, you take weight off and it's going to cause it to pop up and then the bang area to look uneven. Obviously with a doll head, we have um, a, a, a more symmetrical bang, easier to work with. You know, you can, you can have more balance, but the main thing is to keep in mind how their hairline's growing because everyone has different and unique ones. So there could be one way to cut the bangs, but you do the bangs, you have the shape, which is your elevation, your over direction, and your finger angle, you keep that in mind. But on a heavy calic side, you leave more length because you gotta allow that bit of pieces that are gonna pop. And now we're going into the side bang. And side means you're gonna be shorter on one side, longer on the other. And as we talked in the last video, keep in mind the calyx 
and I have a tendency to choose the side according to the calic, but also you want to choose the side according to their facial features. Everybody has one fuller cheek and one eye higher. We're not all equally balanced. There's some people that are more symmetrical than others, and there's others that are way off. So if you have one eye higher than the other, and you place the weight over the high eye, even just switching my hair, you could probably tell which side it looks better on. It makes, if this is my high eye and I place the weight over here, it makes the high eye look lower. And the lower eye opens up this side of your face, it makes it higher. Same thing when you switch your part on the opposite. So when it comes to bangs, it's really important. So technically, this client would have her hair parted on the left side. So the left side is gonna be shorter to long. If the calic was really strong, which happens to this doll head right here, kind of splits right in that area, so it would be probably the best to place the weight over that eye. At this point, it's gonna to be towards her center eye. I just like to try to create a place on her face that I'm directing the part to so that it gives you a great example on, on, on where to part your hair when you're doing it. So I'm gonna create a lot more short on one side and, and push it to longer on the other. This is my fourth section. And if you notice, I'm repeating the same thing over and over. I'm doing a pie-shaped parting, finger angles out, um, inward 45. I say inward is when the tips are facing into the head and your hand's coming out. Outward 45 is when your fingers are coming away from the head and your hand's going towards the head. Again, bevel to the center of the eye in that case. This should be the fifth section. I'm going off that shortest strand to the longest. So when you comb this down, you're starting to see no longer is it a French bang, it's becoming now a side bang. And that's how you create shape, as you decide where you wanna take the weight out and where you wanna leave the weight in. And we did a French bang and we did a side bang. And now we're gonna do a block bang, which is very fun because again, you can change the whole personality of her look and her haircut by just changing a few angles. So the difference between our side bang was, it was a steep 45, a block bang, my finger angle is gonna be 90. So we talked about earlier the two basic angles. 90 is when you're going straight across, you can do a horizontal and a vertical 90. And 45s are when you're going in a diagonal. So you can go diagonal left, diagonal right. So there's options, you got horizontal, you got vertical, and you have diagonal. And these are the basic angles too that you can work with. I'm probably gonna go steeper back on her head, and I'm gonna show you a different way to make a real heavy fringe that um, can really make it dramatic frame on the eyes. So I'm gonna split it down the middle. This is already her shorter side, so I'm gonna start there first. And this is the thing, in real client world, we always have clients that have a previous color. But if you wanna see what I did different is my finger angle's not like that, my finger angle's straight. So that's what I was calling a 90. I'm bringing it straight out at a 90. Clearly on the right side, there's not gonna be that much hair to cut off, but I am gonna go deeper back. This is where our creative and our technical gets to collide. And if you can see now, if you look at her, it's a real deep line here, and then it drops to long hair there. So it creates a completely different look. And you can see that it gives a really dramatic look and really makes her eyes pop. And it's almost like it's just this perfect frame. This is one or, this is actually three things to start with, but from here, there's so much more that you could build off of it in this haircut but it's a quick, easy way to show someone that they can make a change without it being that dramatic. So I hope you enjoyed these three steps, three different ways to cut bangs. Thank you.